All right, today we're going to be talking about quarterly reporting um, for attendance, truancy, bullying, and behavior. Too many screens. We have our webinar series this month. Um, this week we're doing quarterly reporting. Next month, or next week, we'll be doing dropout reporting on the 19th at 10 a.m. And then on the 26th, we'll be having our EPS October 1 student enrollment webinar. In October, we have our EPS staff certification report webinar on the 3rd. And then the following weeks, we'll have an open office hour with a registration required webinars. Feel free to take a look at those and register whenever you, uh, if you're interested in attending. Uh, those will be a more open forum for our webinar series. Today, our resources for uh, reporting are on the Help Desk website on the tiles for data reporting instructions and student enrollment guides. The data reporting instructions tile is going to go through how to report and how to find all of the reports within the NEO modules, whereas the student enrollment guides are going to go through more of the when and what to report and any guidance for reporting um, information. On the data reporting instructions tile, we have many, many resources. They're in alphabetical order for the most part, uh, but the daily attendance uh, has three different reports that you can find the guidance for there. And then we also have the behavior certification report, which is further down. Um, so that is available there for directions on how to locate those reports within the NEO student uh, reporting module. On the reporting guidance, uh, on the reporting guidance page, we have enrollment guidance for attendance, behavior, and truancy. So those will go through when to report attendance, how to report modalities, um, behavior incidents, when to report those, and then also truancy incidents and how to report those uh, to the state. So once again, today we're going over bullying, behavior, daily attendance, and truancy. Bullying is dire directly entered into NEO on the bullying reporting system module, and then behavior, daily attendance, and truancy are reported through Synergy and then certified and reviewed within NEO. All LEAs with publicly funded students are required to report for quarterly, re quarterly reporting. Quarterly reporting runs um, each quarter of the main DOE school year. The school year for DOE starts on July 1st and runs through uh, September 30th. That report is due on October 15th. That's the first round that will be coming due soon. Quarter two will open up October 1, run through December 31st, due on January 15th. Quarter three is January through March, due on the 15th of April and quarter four is April through June. There are varying due dates for the end of the school year for this reporting um, based on the different reports. We'll jump right into the bullying report. We have guidance for how to report the uh, report bullying uh, and it's a Looks complicated, but it's really not. Just a flow chart here to kind of go through and see how things um, kind of go. So if a student is um, sus not suspended, but there is a bullying incident, then that will only be reported in the NEO module. Whereas if a student is um, suspended and it is related to a bullying or cyberbullying incident that's reported in both Synergy and in NEO as well. Um, so that Synergy report will go into the behavior report. In NEO, to locate the bullying report, you need NEO access. And once you're in NEO, you'll go to the bullying reporting system. And in order to have access to your NEO module for bullying, you have to have an active staff assignment within NEO and your superintendent needs to submit an act, that access request for you um, in order to gain access to the NEO modules. In, in NEO, you'll 
select bullying reporting system. And it will bring you to a screen with the reporting deadline deadlines. Um, you'll have the definitions of bullying. And then at the bottom of the page, you'll have a select a click here button for entering and reviewing uh, incidents of bullying within the district. You can select your school in the fiscal year and select school summary in order to certify or to review. And you'll have a count of incidents that were entered by your schools um, by school, uh, the number of incidents. And then superintendents need to come in and they need to review um, for the due dates 10, 15, 1, 15, 4, 15, and then 6, 15. So that is our bullying report. All right, we will move on to the behavior report. Behavior reporting is entered into um, usually your local student information system and then up into state synergy. And then there's an automatic ETL on an hourly basis that pulls the data from state synergy into NEO, into the student data section, uh, into the student data module. So all discipline incidents are entered into state synergy, uh, then automatically uploaded into NEO behavior reports. Any changes that you see that need to take place in a NEO report need to be made within synergy in order to be reflected in that report. So you have to wait for that ETL and then you should see any changes um, in NEO reports. Once again, we have our flow chart of how to report incidents. Um, so this uh, would be just if a student is suspended, what was the incident that was involved? Once again, if you have a bullying incident, um, they are entered as other into synergy for a behavior and then also entered into the NEO bullying module. Um, but this will be a great resource for reporting students' uh, behavior. Locating this report within NEO, you'll have a student data module, student reports, behavior certification report. Once again, you do need access to NEO in order to have, um, in order to get into this report. You'll have to have an active staff assignment in NEO staff and your superintendent needs to submit a access request form for on your behalf to get you access to student data within your district. In NEO, we'll select student data, student report, and then the these are in alphabetical order once again, behavior certification report and the behavior details report. Certification report is going to go through an aggregate count of, dis of students in the uh, district uh, by school and they will, and then the behavior details will go by student and identify specific students with specific incidents. So this is your certification report aggregate counts of incidents. If you wanted to select and see the students who make up the counts that you're seeing here, you can click into the details report. Um, and once you've verified that all data is selected, the superintendent come in, comes in and they will review and submit to DOE. Details report. So students who are on the detail on the um, certification report are reflected on the details report. You can verify if these incidents occurred um, and make any changes that need to take place. This report is searchable. You can save and export this report to send to uh, school principals to verify that the data is accurate. Um, you can sort by grade level um, and then you can send it out to various um, schools, whichever, however you want to organize that communicating with school super school principals or whoever is handling these behavior entries will be really important for behavior reporting and ensuring that they are accurate and all um, included in the report. Next we have daily attendance reporting. 
Once again, daily attendance is added into your usually your local student information system and then updated uploaded into state synergy um, either through manual upload or through uh, or manual data entry or through an upload in the student uh, in the state reporting status screen. Um, all records that need to be changed within the NEO reports will have to take place in the synergy in in state synergy in order to ensure that those changes are reflected in the final report. You will need access to NEO in order to complete this report. So you'll need access to student data, student reports, and then daily attendance certification will be one of the reports on that screen. If you do not have access to NEO, once again, you will need to have an active staff assignment and you will need to have an access request form submitted on your behalf by your superintendent so that they can get you access to those reports. On that, uh, on that student report screen, we have the daily attendance kind of block. There are multiple different reports that make up this one section. Um, so we have the certification report, um, details report, student lookup, and attendance summary report. Certification report is going to go through your aggregate counts. Um, going through your total number of days enrolled, which should reflect the number of days that students were enrolled, um, time or number of school days times the number of students. It should be somewhat reflective of that, give or take a few days for students who have transferred in or transferred out. Um, and then you will have your percentage of absences, uh, total number of students, and your chronic absenteeism rates. You can also link into your sort of into your other reports from there um, so we'll go into the summary report summary report is going to go through and give you your um, grade level report or, or your school's report you can search this report save and export it to send it to your principals um, or or secretaries in order to determine um, accuracy for your district. You can also sort by grade level um, or other or any column here as well. And this is just another example of the summary report. So you can see where percentages of absenteeism or percentage of absences are coming from um, so that are feeding into that other report. So this will go by student so you can see where those numbers are coming from um, and how they're ending up on that aggregate certification report. And finally, the truancy report. Once again, up this, this is uploaded through your local student information system into State Synergy. And then there's an automatic ETL that uploads into NEO on an hourly basis. And any data that is entered through Synergy will be reflected in the truancy reports. Um, and any changes that need to be made to any truancy reports within NEO need to happen in Synergy. And then you'll have to wait for that hourly ETL in order to see that data reflected in the NEO reports. Once again, you do need access to NEO in order to access this report. You will need student data, student reports, and the truancy certification report. If you do not have an active NEO account and you need access, you need to have an active staff assignment in NEO staff, and your superintendent needs to submit an access request form on your behalf. On the student report screen, you'll have to scroll down to the bottom. Truancy certification report and truancy details report are down there toward the end. Truancy certification report is going to go through aggregate counts of truancy incidents, um, and you can view and click into the details report to see the students who are being entered um, by those uh, as those counts. I do want to clarify very quickly. Uh, there have been some questions uh, for special purpose private school enrollments um, and who should be entering truancy data. Truancy data can be entered into Synergy by the attending school. However, 
the district that is responsible for the student, so the resident district, will need to carry out the proceedings of the truancy. Um, so they'll have to carry out all of the steps. There will have to be communication between the two districts in order to um, let the resident district know that there has been an incident of truancy with a student and that they need to carry out those steps. So there will need to be communication amongst districts in order to ensure that all of that data is accurate. This report is searchable, can be saved and exported to send um, and verify the information as well. Um, you could export it by a res uh, responsible district and send it to your responsible districts um, so they can see it and that know that they know about it. Um, and you can also sort, um, do some column sorting here. If there are any questions about um, quarterly reporting, uh, we do have the uh, Q&A if you would like to take a moment to ask any clarifying questions in the Q&A. We will go ahead and take some time now to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, but if you do leave this webinar with questions that are still lingering, feel free to give us a call at the help desk. Um, you can email uh, medums.helpdesk at maine.gov or give us a call 207-624-6896. If you are new to data reporting and would like some training in the Synergy and NEO navigation, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be happy to set up some training time with you. Um, you can email me at alexandra.cookson at maine.gov or give me a call at 207-446-3897. So I'm seeing a question here. Um, our 2022-2023 bullying reports are still listed as not submitted reports on the reporting calendars, even though they are submitted on time. How can this be resolved? Um, that is um, something that needs to be resolved at the DOE level. So. Yeah, for that one, everybody, you know, it's kind of always been an ongoing thing um, where we have our program area folks like to check in the data as they get it. So with these ones, that's our office of school and student sports folks. Um, so we're uh, constantly uh, pestering them uh, to kind of get those things looked at and checked in in a timely manner, but um, it is on a timely routine. So once again, as we always advise, if you complete a report and you see it reviewed or submitted, certified on the actual report page, that's all you need to worry about. The calendars will catch up in due time. And as always, we're looking to get that system replaced uh, for something a little more functional for everybody. But for now, just kind of uh, thank you for sharing with us. Just going to wait for a couple more questions, see if anything else comes in. All right, I am not seeing any new questions come in and I am starting to see some numbers drop. So with that, once again, if you have questions after today's webinar that you want to have answered, please feel free to reach out to the help desk. And if you'd like to set up a training, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to work with you. I hope everyone has a great rest of their Tuesday and we will see you next week for dropout reporting webinar. Thanks, everyone.